Hi, good morning. My name is Chef Christian Cruz, 38 years of age. I'm a graduate of Culinary Arts in La Consolation College, Manila, and I will be your chef instructor for this program. Okay, so for today's lesson or class, uh, we will be doing a stock, a simple uh, velote, and a cream of chicken soup. Okay, so we will be starting with the chicken stock. So making a chicken stock is very simple. All you have to prepare is some of the chicken bones or some of your leftover chickens will do also. And along with that, you will be using a mirepoix. When you say mirepoix, that will be a combination of some of your onion, some of your carrots, and celery. Okay, so for this uh, ingredients, you will be using at least 100 grams of your onion. So all you have to do here is uh, to dice it up. Okay, so, so you will be infusing the plate pour evenly onto your stock. Okay, so just make a dice of your onion. Okay, try not to add up the root of your onion. Carrots, you can just make a roll cut. When you say roll cut, you just turn or roll your carrots. So you will be having a roll cut coming from this. Okay. It will be looking like this one. Okay. okay. And finishing it with some of your celery. This one will be your mirepoix. So, when you are starting to cook, you need to place your chicken bones and some of your chicken carcass onto your saucepan. Okay? And adding some of your water. Okay? So, for this one, I'll be using at least 750 ml of water. Okay? Then please, let it simmer, or let it rather boil than simmer, so that you can remove some of the impurities on that later on. Okay, now once your um, bones are already boiling, you can remove some of the impurities on this. So these are some of the impurities that you can remove. So that, so that you won't be having some unwanted flavor onto your stock. So you can use a steamer or a light table for this. Okay. And then afterwards, after you remove most of the uh, scum, you can add in your nerve oil. Okay, now once your uh, scum is removed, you can add in now your mirepoix, the 100 grams of your onion, 175 carrots, and 75 grams of celery. Okay, now uh, once your uh, vegetable and bones are already together with your water, you can add more flavor by adding some of your sachet de epis. Okay, or spice bag. Okay, so this one is a combination of some of your bay leaf, celery, okay, parsley stem, some of your garlic. Okay, if you want to add more flavor, you just crush a little bit of that. Okay, and some of your peppercorns. Okay, now this one will add additional flavor for your stock. And you get eight wine. And then you just tie this one all together. Now, at tying it with eight wine, this one uh, will make your work easier. So you don't want to overpower the flavor of your aromatics into your stock. So with this one, you can just remove this easily later on. 
Okay. So, place it here on the side and then you tie it here. Just make sure the fire won't reach your twine because it might uh, burn. Okay. Once your stuff is done, okay, you can strain it using a chinoise or chinua with a cheesecloth so that you will be removing most of the vegetable or large piece of your vegetable. And for this stuff, you can use this one when cooking or making some of your sauces and some of your soup. Now don't mind the some of your uh, vegetable that being uh, strained on that because you can remove that later on. Okay? So I'll just uh, get at least, I think this is a half cup of liquid or stock, okay? So that you will be having an idea what a chicken stock looks like okay and that is your chicken stock or white stock okay now uh, once we're uh, we have a stock we can now make a simple melody now for the ingredients we will be using some of your butter and flour okay and of course white stock and salt and pepper to taste okay Okay, now for this one, you will be using the butter. And we also have different kinds of uh, roux. Okay, we have blonde roux, brown roux, okay, and a dark roux. Now, when you are making a sauce or velouté, okay, just melt in some of your butter and then add some flour. Okay. Now, your consistency should be not too wet and not too dry. Okay. When you say dry, it will be looking like this one. And when it's wet, it will be runny. So it should be having a little movement okay do that okay. and it is important also to cook your uh, flour because you don't want a raw flour when you are having your velouté okay so that will be like this one okay so that should be not too wet and not too dry. Okay. You will be adding your stock. Okay. Now, do not add all of your stock because some of the roux might clump. In the first part of your stock, and then the second one. Now, just in case you have some of the curdling or some of the lumps, you can just strain your uh, sauce. This one is your finished velvet. Oh, by the way, uh, 
A good consistency of sauce will be covering the back of your spoon. Okay. And this is an example of your relative. Okay, now for the last stop, we will be making a cream of chicken. Okay, so for this one, we will be needing some of your again butter and flour, which is your roux, some of your parsley stem, salt and pepper, okay, some of your fresh milk, and a cream, and then of course chicken, okay, and a little bit of onion to add some of your flavor. Okay, so we'll be doing a very simple brunoise of this uh, onion. Cutting it very thinly, we have a Okay, now uh, for this one, you already have your brunoise of your um, onion, okay? So for this uh, chicken, I won't be doing the typical uh, sautéing. So what I will do, I have here my stock, okay? So I'll just put in my chicken here, and I will be cooking that for at least uh, around 30 minutes, okay? And then I will be shredding it later for my cream of chicken, okay? Now, we will be making our cream of chicken uh, soup. Okay? So we will be starting with the butter. Okay. So we'll be melting the butter and sauteing our rumas of onion. Now this onion will give us a little bit of uh, sweetness for our soup. Now add in some of our onion. We'll just saute this one until it's translucent. This are uh, entering the caramelization stage. Now you will be seeing a quite some big bubbles on the side or even in the middle. So that means your onion is already ready to add in some of your um, parsley stem. Okay, parsley stem. You don't want to burn your parsley stem, so we're not uh, adding it along with the Onion. Now, afterwards, we'll add in our flour. Okay. We'll be adding it little by little so that it won't clump. Now, this is almost similar to the first uh, part where we made our roux which is just an equal amount of water and flour. Now this one, in the middle of it, we added the onion and chopped parsley. Okay. Now we will be adding a little bit of stock. Let it boil and then simmer it. Now your roux, by the way, is your thickening agent. That will give you a very nice consistency for your uh, soup. Okay, so make sure you stir quite some time. Okay. So that some of your roux or flour with that butter will be incorporated onto your liquid. Okay. Now once it's boiling, you adjust your heat to simmer. Okay. And cook it until you get your desired consistency for that. We adding my milk. Okay. Now when you added your milk, do not try to boil it because it might burn low. And on the last part, you need to temper your cream, okay, before you pour it onto the 
uh, soup because this one will curdle because of the heat. So make sure this will be added on the last part along with the salt and uh, pepper. Now I have here my chicken coming from the stock that I and then I will be shredding this one and then adding it onto the uh, soup. Okay, now uh, the chicken was uh, shredded and I will be adding it here so that I can infuse most of the flavor of the chicken breast here. Along with that. Then you can cook it some time okay, before adding. Okay, in this part we need to temper our soup onto our cream so that it will not curdle. Okay, at this point you don't want to return your um, soup onto the stove top because of the cream is already added. Now we just need to finish this one with a little bit of salt and pepper. And you will be having your cream of Here, a very creamy chicken, and this is good for at least two servings. Now, you just need to finish this one with some toppings of your croutons, some dusting of your pepper. And any herbs that is available that is good for garnish. So at least three to four pieces of your croutons. So just make it five. Okay. This one. And a lovely garnish. So hopefully you have learned something uh, for this uh, first repertory and we will be having more on the uh, continuation for um, pro of our program.